Hey, what's up guys? Boo Tuzi here. You might remember me from such videos as How To Overtime. In this video, we're bringing you How To Pass, How To Two On One, not too sure what to call it. So in this clip, I just, I had it on my right wing, and then his right defense and Falk went to uh, hit him. Uh, I passed it over quickly to Jordan Stahl. So now as you can see here, if I zoom out a bit, I got like a a three on one but with that with Fulk coming back it's basically a two on one because those two guys kinda cancel each other out more like a three on two so what you want to do here is I haven't figured out a way to do this with the regular pass but with the right bumper or your saucer pass if you play on whatever I I let him a bit now that may look like a weak pass but you see it gets over to him I I don't just send it right over to him I lead him I give him space and this is why I always have Crash Net on. Because Jordan Stahl makes the pass over. Now Crosby and uh, who we got over here? Falk are coming back. But his last defenseman, uh, Sakara, now tries to attack Rutu? Oh, uh, Voracek. So Voracek, as soon as he gets the puck, he passes it back. Okay, I'll show you this again. So what, I, what you want to do is you want to lead your guy, pass it back, and then just the goalie's coming over to his left, and then you just shoot it to your left. You know what I mean? Goalie's coming over to the left, and then you just pop it where he just was. Now, some two-on-ones, uh... If you see where my cursor is sometimes, as you come in, they will stay uh, pass option side, and then in that scenario, you would just walk in and shoot it. But more often than not, they challenge you, so I find the best way is just to, you don't want to over make passes or make too many passes, but if you can make that sauce to lead them to space, and then send that pass back through, you know, you can score like this, or if the goalie doesn't bite as hard and you have a little more space, or you're coming in a little more on the left, if you just, if you're left handed and you just pop it right on that back end and then wait a sec, normally as you get, as you get it and slide to the left, the goalie will slide to the left with you and then you just quickly bring it back and wait a second because if you quickly go back in and shoot, you hit the post or you miss the net or your guy just like sucks. So if you, if you wait a bit, then you can bring it back in. But in this scenario, you just one little pass. I don't even think the second pass was a saucer. And then you can just pot it right in. So that is how you two on one slash use the saucer pass. I hope you enjoyed the video. And man, that looks pretty. Boom! So once again, you just send it back where the space he gets the puck and you know 43 decided to stay with stall hopefully stall would drive hard route 2 would come behind or you never know you could always if he just goes with him you could always just walk right on in because as long as you're faster than these two guys back checking and I assume one of these guys will go with Rutu and maybe Crosby will come pick you because he is a center but, you know, if this guy, say, was more over in here to take the pass, you could just walk in and shoot. Or if you walk in here and then he decides to come to you, you can pass. Or if he's really aggressive, you could try to uh, toe drag around him. You know, just give him a little toe drag and then you're in right in here. So, yeah. That is what you want to do on a 2 on one when you have that much space. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope you learned something. Hope this helps you. Hope you uh, do good.